Hi guys, welcome back to another Kicking Mustang gameplay video. I'm at Bush Valley Airsoft in Kent this time for a Milsim event run by Terry Little of SEO Airsoft. It's called Operation Snowcap. Uh, myself and two sniper operatives, uh, Hutchie and the Sneaky Blinder, uh, we have been employed by a drugs cartel uh, who are operating in the area. Uh, the drugs cartel have shot down a DEA helicopter and a team of SEALs have been brought into the area to um, team up with the DEA and try to shut down the drug cartels operations. Uh, for this gameplay I'm using exclusively a silverback SRS bolt action rifle which really does come into its own. Uh, it's a really very quiet spring powered bolt action rifle and this does allow me to remain undetected throughout the day. Um, I don't think I even got spotted or heard by the enemy opponents and I do remain unkilled through the entire length of this event. Uh, I hope you enjoy it and um, thanks very much for watching. I tried to warn you on the radio that they're behind us, sorry, over. Try and find another way around that.
can see here, one of the great features of the SRS bolt action rifle is that it is incredibly quiet even though I sent a few shots into the SEAL team's formation they didn't have a clue where the shots were coming from. So my main objective here is to create fear in the opponents, make them afraid to move around freely in the valley. Uh, I know I can never outgun this SEAL team. Uh, they are heavily armed with automatic weapons. But what I can do is start to chip away at their morale and take their mind off the job that they have been assigned, which is to try to take down the cartel who have employed me to protect them. from the camera angle here but I have got the gun canted or lent at an angle to the left here as I am essentially curving the BBs around this bush here. It is a bit of a sniper trick shot and worth trying um, if there is an obstacle in the way at long range you can sort of curve it, uh, bend the shot around obstacles by leaning your gun to one side. see already the DEA Asian sir already starting to lose their cool uh, half of their team don't seem to want to move from cover 
afraid of being hit by either myself or the other two sniper operatives who are hidden on the other side of the valley. So at this point I did hear an enemy squad moving up the side of the valley and I suspected that they had an inkling of where I was hiding out and they sent the squad over in my direction to try and flush me out. work mate they're right on top of me at the moment um absolutely slaughtering me at the moment but i think they know i'm up on the bank now and they come looking for me over one of the most important things to do in a situation like this is just not to give yourself away for the sake of kills So I just took a few of them out and they're pretty sure the direction the shots came from so I 
plan now is to just lay low, wait for them to get bored of looking for me, and then retake the position I was in. Got to maintain the advantage, psychological advantage. I need to maintain that psychological advantage over the enemy. Right now, they're, they're afraid to move because they're getting hit. If they take us out, that changes. That's a victory in their mind. Pretend this didn't happen. This definitely did not happen. You did not see this. That's the reason why you should not climb trees. Kenny, Mark, um, whereabouts are you? Are you on the on the side of the valley that I'm on, or the other side? Over. Uh, we're on the other side, James, uh, where the caravan is, uh, right on the uh, fence line. Okay, great. I'm overlooking the helicopter again, exactly the same position. Yeah, copy that. Kenny's got the uh, call map.
it's at this point you start to realise that the SEAL team are pretty much broken, their morale has collapsed and they have essentially given up the game. I think these guns being fired here is some kind of team surrender call. I'm not entirely sure what they're doing but they seem to be emptying their guns into the air and they leave the playing field with their tails between their legs. Goodbye, SEAL team. Fucking hell, that was hilarious. Did you guys see that? But the DEA agents are still <laughs> fighting on okay, and Kenny and Hutchie are uh, engaging them on the other side of the valley. I think they've gone home. I don't think they like getting spanked.
there's a whole load of cartel going up the ridge towards your location. I think they're falling back to the village, over. Well, with the SEAL team routed and off the field and the DEA all but wiped out, but that brings this gameplay to an end. Thank you very much for watching right to the end of this. Um, very, very long gameplay edit. Um, thanks very much also to Bush Valley in Kent for putting on hosting this event, and thanks very much to Terry Little and SEO Airsoft for running what was really a terrific day uh, of Airsoft. Uh, I will see you next time, um, and thanks once again for watching. Nice, isn't it? So this is a 160 pole. Yeah. Well easy to pull. Mate, this is amazing. That's good. It's good, so isn't it? It's good, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know why the pull's so light. It's good, good pull, isn't it? Sexy. Mate, I used to struggle with these. Yeah, it's decent. Yeah, that's, so that's, that's bog standard uh, nub. Mm.